Greetings, YouTubians. It's the Golden Rule. I wanted to talk to you about my keto diet. Well, if I look down, I can see my toes again for the first time in a long time. So um, I'm finally starting to show some results and part of it is because I switched to a keto diet. Um, so keto diet, the concept of keto diet is to uh, do two things. One, you're going to have a starv uh, uh, starvation. You're going to have a a a, a um, fasting period um, of at least 14 hours, but they recommend 16 hours. What that means is um, I don't eat anything, and I limit my beverages to like a tea in the morning. But I don't eat anything before 9 a.m. or until after 5 p.m. So I get 16 hours of fasting. I'll have green tea, that's it, um, until nine. It's seven o'clock now, so I got two more hours to go. I got some water, so I'm white knuckling it a bit. But what else does it mean? It means um, constricting your carbohydrates. And carbohydrates, um, I'm learning, have really been uh, something that have killed me because I love carbohydrates. So um, I started reducing things like bread and pasta and especially rice come last March. And um, I started seeing some benefits. So, so I've basically been on a starvation diet or a reduced calorie diet for most of the last 10 years, most of my adult life. Um, and I uh, wasn't getting anywhere with it with uh, intermittent, moderate, or even excessive working out during that time. Um, I climbed up to January's high of 104 kilos or about 230 pounds. Uh, but it was all fat. I, I must have weighed that in college, but I was low body fat. I was um, um, playing competitive sports. So I am now down to about 194 pounds or 88 kilos. So I've lost uh, 25 kilo, um, 30, 40, uh, 46 pounds. Yeah. Um, but I was stuck at 95 pounds or 209 pounds up until March. Uh, so I, and I've been between 95 and 100 um, for really the most of the last eight years. So March, I really thought, well, I need to do something because what I'm doing isn't working. So I went to keto. And keto, it talks about lowering your carbohydrates uh, and then having a balance of protein and fat, and uh, really, you can eat as much protein and fat as you want, uh, to be honest with you, and you, you um, really fill up. I didn't like the idea, though, so I thought I'd try to make it better, and in doing so, I kind of screwed up my diet, so I thought, well, I'll go super lean every other day and just use protein bars every other day. See, this is carb killer. It's supposed to be really good, right? No carbohydrates. And then every other day, I would go crazy with the fat with milk, eggs, cheese, plus some tuna or chicken. Um, and I tell you what, I dropped, I don't know, four or five kilo, 20, 25 pounds in, in three-week period. It really was working. But then it stopped working. So I've leveled out at 88 and I figured out why. It's hitting carbs. So I was eating for most of my life two of these every day. Everyone in my family always calls me the big white gorilla because I like bananas so much. Well, bananas and apples break down into sugar. They be, and sugar becomes carbohydrates. So these actually, I've reduced to one a day of each until it's all gone and then I won't buy anymore. I love it, but I can't do it. I'm replacing it with nuts. Nuts are, um, have protein and they have um, fat, but good fat, so it's good for you. Now let's get back to my carb killer. Well, carb killer is terrible. <laughs> um, on my big fat days, right, everything, the whole thing, I would lose a kilo or two every day doing that. And then on the day that I went lean with just eating this and drinking the shake and drinking water, I gain it all back like a yo-yo. So I found out why. Carb killer is not a carb killer. This is about the worst product on the market. If you're using it, don't. It is the worst product on the market. Why? Because it uses a inferior, inferior sub sugar substitute. It uses malatitol. Malatitol is a sugar alcohol. 
which is basically sugar, which basically turns into about 36 grams of carbohydrates per bar, which means it's the opposite of keto bar. It's the opposite of carb killer. It actually kills you with carbs is what it should be called. So if you, need, if you use grenade carb killer, I recommend you stop, cease and desist as of today, because it will kill you. It will kill you with carbohydrates because of the malitol. Now there's another thing that I've used that I just switched to today, which is Quest. Quest isn't, doesn't taste as good. It's kind of rubbery, but it uses a different kind of sugar. It uses stevia. So it only turns into about five grams of carbs per bar versus 36. So this is better. There's also keto bars. I, you can't get them here in Qatar right now with the lockdown. So this is the closest thing I could find to a keto friendly bar. So I'm gonna slowly steer the ship I'm going to eat these, but one a day instead of uh, two or three on my on my lean days until they're gone. Unfortunately, I bought a bunch and they're expensive. I'm giving some of them to my gardener around the corner, along with you know the apples and the bananas if they go bad. Um, but yeah, these this is a hidden carbohydrate that I had no idea about. So I'm expecting once I get through these, I should have a. Um, really good reduction because I'm trying to get down to about 165, 170 pounds. I'm an older guy and I need to lose it and then, you know, try to um, keep my, what little muscle I have left. What are some other hidden carbohydrates that I've been eating that I didn't know about? Carrots. So I have salads every day and I've had to, uh, I realized that carrots have a, a hidden storage of sugars that turn into um, carbohydrates. Anything that grows beneath the ground is like that. Potatoes, carrots, anything that grows above ground is good. Uh, cucumbers, oh, except for the, the fruits, but vegetables like uh, cucumbers are good, lettuce, any, uh, even, um, uh, what's the thing that you get guacamole from? Um, I forget what it's called, but the big green fruit, uh, it's a vegetable. Um, anyway, it comes from guacamole. Uh, guacamole comes from it. <laughs> um, at any rate, um, uh, it'll come to me. So I've, I need to get rid of the carrots. I won't buy any more of that, and I'm replacing it with the. Um, uh, I had to look it up. Just bear with me while I look it up because I have no idea what it is. <laughs> uh, guacamole comes from the fruit. Avocado, of course, it comes from avocado. So avocados have good, good um, fat. So what I'll do is I'll take the carrots out of my um, my salad and re replace it with avocados. Also, bell peppers are really good. So the bottom line is I'm a real fan of the keto diet. It's really doing wonders for me, but I'm doing it wrong. So I'm hoping that um, if this is episode one, I'm hoping by maybe episode 10, you'll see a brand new me, but I already see a huge difference. I see that I'm actually turning the corner and losing a lot of weight right now. Um, I am doing a lot of exercise, though. I had to say that. I was doing three days worth of cardio every day, or every, every time where I was doing interval training running. It's kind of hard on my knees, so I found a track. Um, because I'm taking increased carbohydrates, I didn't realize it, I'm, up that to six days a week for now. And I'm also swimming because they opened the swimming pool four days ago. So I'm swimming and I'm doing intense um, um, 100 meters, 16 times intervals, uh, six days a week. I'll take that back down to three days a week um, once I've completely flushed out these uh, carbohydrates that I, that I still have in the shelf that I need to get rid of. Um, but that's it. That's my first episode of doing keto diet. Um, the mistakes that I've made so far, and hopefully I'll make less and less mistakes and I'll be able to start telling you about um, my, my progress. Thank you so much for watching.